they explain. And now Kenya has joined a growing list of countries worldwide grappling with antimicrobial resistance, a threat that is making once treatable infections increasingly difficult to cure. While early studies pointed to the misuse of medication, particularly antibiotics, as the main driver of the crisis, scientists are now drawing attention to environmental factors behind the spread of drug-resistant infections. From farmlands and water bodies to waste dumping sites, Kenya is scaling up surveillance under what experts describe as a One Health approach linking human, animal and environmental health in the fight against antimicrobial resistance. Lorotino has the details. Have you ever had a flu that would not go away despite taking various medication? Or you are hospitalized over what you thought was a simple infection? Well, you might have rubbed shoulders with antimicrobial resistance, an increasingly common trend that is placing strain on public health systems, not just in Kenya, but across the globe. In hospital wards across the country, thousands of patients are receiving treatment every day. But the standard process of testing, diagnosis and medication is increasingly hitting a roadblock at the final stage. Medics are raising the alarm over a surge in antimicrobial resistance, a situation where patients fail to respond to commonly prescribed drugs. The condition, once largely linked to misuse of medication, is now emerging as a major challenge within healthcare facilities. If your child is coughing, you'll run for a moxin, eh? even without any prescription. And this amoxin, you'll find mama giving in total this amoxin for even two days. While well, it's supposed to be five days. After two days, mama taweka mogzil kwa nyumba. And angoja mdoto pia, even after two weeks, tuta maanza wakawa, ana pia ya mogzil teda. Once a pathogen is exposed to a drug in lower doses than intended, the pathogen develops a biofilm, which then means the drug cannot penetrate its cell membrane. When exposed to the drug a second time, even under the prescribed dosage, the biofilm protects the pathogen, meaning a patient will get sicker even with the correct medication administered. The Kenya Medical Research Institute sounded an alarm in rising trends of antimicrobial resistance in the country. In findings published by the Center of Microbiology Research, surveillance from Mamalusi Kibaki Hospital showed that 45% of typhoid fever cases at the facility were linked to a drug-resistant strain, while in 2022, 99% of samples tested during a cholera outbreak showed that the disease was caused by a multi-drug-resistant strain of Vibrio cholera. It's now expensive to manage a patient with multi drug resistant. In the long run, uh, we'll be sitting and observing our patient dying simply because of multi drug resistance. Beyond the misuse of medication, studies now show that environmental factors are also driving the rise in antimicrobial resistance. Research by Cornell University, Kemfrey and Ildry have detected antimicrobial resistance in fish, a development experts warn could spill over to humans through consumption. In Busia County, an analysis of tilapia samples collected during a mass fish die-off revealed that 17% of cage fish farmers had attempted to medicate their stock without veterinary guidance a practice that contributed to the resistance of commonly used antibiotics. We were able to get that the ones that were notorious or they were common, there were three of them. I would tell the fishermen, if you continue administering these antibiotics without any professional assistance or advice, it could lead to more fish kills. Because you're reading to these uh, microorganisms being resistant to any anti uh, antibacterial uh, uh, substance you're putting in. During the seventh session of the United Nations Environmental Assembly held in Nairobi, UNEP Executive Director Inga Anderson advocated for a triple planetary lens which features the tackling of the crisis of climate change, the crisis of nature and biodiversity loss, as well as the crisis of pollution and health. 
Kenya's Ministry of Health has developed a five-year multi-sectoral national action plan to tackle the rising cases of antimicrobial resistance. We've realized that this is something that is affecting the human health. It's affecting the animals, the domestic animals we keep. It's also affecting the aquatic animals. Eh? So having the one health approach would mean that we synergize our efforts together. Just have maybe like some um, uh, thematic working groups and uh, conduct routine surveillance just as a team. Eh? We just need to build stronger teams. Let's teach the community what MR is. Because even if for now, if you have even five people, uh, randomly and you ask them what is MR, huh? I promise you none will tell you what MR is. Eh? Uh, some will even tell you MR, I think in Mnyama. Eh, so <laughs> you see? Even as the globe puts in synergies and trains its guns to save millions of people from the agony of antimicrobial resistance, Kenya is also fighting to cement its place by enhancing surveillance of AMR to suppress the complications and mortalities associated with it. In between, is sterile. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV. So John Kamau.